so I'll start off with my Kobe ones. I'll get into this, what this is, and a couple of little stuff that I put out on top. But I'll give you guys a little bit of a brief description of what those items are. But for now, I'll go down to shoes. So these are my Kobe, all my Kobe ones. I have three pairs, which is the undefeated uh, collab they did. I think in 2000, I want to say 2007, six maybe. He retired in 2016. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm saying six. I mean 16. So, um, I think these were in 2017, I believe. Uh, don't, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not quite sure. But these are the three colorways that I kind of liked out of that pack. I know there was a red camel one and then the other lighter green camel uh, colorway of that. Um, these are the ones that I think LeBron kind of, uh, uh, brought out when these released. And, you know, he was wearing these when he first joined the Lakers. Uh, but yeah, these are my only Kobe ones. I am a skinny guy, so I don't have, I don't really like the bulkiness of, of the Kobe ones. They make my, they, they don't really go with my, my body type, I guess I can say, but, um, they are a good shoe. They're really comfortable, actually, out of a lot of the Kobe's. These are one of the most comfortable shoes, the Kobe ones. Um, I was actually able to pick up these undefeated uh, bands also because I did actually go and camp out for these ones at the undefeated store here in Los Angeles. And so I was able to get this for retail. I paid retail for these and I believe I got these for a, re a little bit over retail on those. But those are one of my favorite. Actually, well, these are three of my favorite ones. Um, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the Kobe one because of all the bulkiness, but you know, it is a, some of these are just must haves. Um, I don't have any Kobe twos. I do. The only pair of Kobe threes I have is this one, the MVP. And, um, I was able to get these for really cheap on, uh, on offer up, which is a selling app. Uh, the guy was selling a couple of his Kobe's and what just needed quick money. I think I bought those for maybe like 180, I believe, at that time. Um, that shoe is pretty bulky as well. I have not worn those, but I wouldn't mind having the Orca, which is the black colorway with the black swoosh, uh, black color, uh, black shoe with the white swoosh on the back. And then I wouldn't mind having the Lakers colorway as, that, as well. So those are my Kobe ones, threes, and then. The majority of my collection is Kobe 4s, as you guys can see. Um, it's probably my favorite model. Well, I mean, at this point, it is my favorite model because it includes most of my collection, as you guys can see. Uh, back there, I have the undefeated pack. Other than those, those are the Wiznards. Um, that's the undefeated Kobe 4s. I'll show you these. This is probably um, my favorite color of the pack. Um, simply because it's really simple you can match this with anything I wear these quite a bit already uh, as you can tell there's a lot of sock lint in there but I really love this shoe I'm looking to double up on this shoe um, as soon as possible because I think I feel like this is a shoe I wear the most out of the pack um, that's the Lakers colorway like I said that's the Wiznards and that's that uh, teal colorway the Spurs so that was another one of my favorites. I did double up on that one as well, but I sold the pair I was using quite often on the daily. I sold it, so now I have those on ice. And um, like I said, I'm looking to double up on that one. There was a green pair, uh, the Bucks colorway, and there was a uh, orange pair for the Suns colorway, which I ended up selling to close friends uh, for below retail actually. Um, because I just felt like I wasn't able to, I wasn't going to be using those quite often and they are really big Kobe fans and um, you know I decided to pass those on to them okay so now I'll start off with over here these I was able to get these pretty cheap as well uh, I don't know if I've worn these or not I can't remember if I don't think I've worn these actually look the yes but um, this is a really nice colorway that I was really patient on looking for. Um, I just like the, the, I think these are, yeah, these are the gradients. So I like how it goes from black as you go look at black and then it just fades into the purple all the way to the back. Boom. And I was able to find some, I guess you can send some matching or somewhat matching socks with these online. I think I bought these on eBay for really cheap. Um. I think they were like 20 bucks to be honest, these socks. 
which I think it was cheap because now I look for socks on eBay and they're like, you know, 50, 60, 70 bucks. Uh, these are my inline Kobe 4s. Um, I really love this pair. Um, I like the whiteness that it had. Um, now it has yellowed within time. But um, I'm looking to get double up on this one. I just love this color. I don't know for some reason. I just love the, the white, white and purple on it. Um, I wish if I could find another uh, 10 and a half that it's more um, white and I saw yellow. I don't know if you guys can tell how yellow it is, but let me see. It doesn't look as yellow on the camera, but it is um, more yellow than it looks on camera in person. Um, these, I took me maybe two, three years to find these. Uh, DS, um, these are the Rice Home colorway um i was really stuck when i got those i think i placed a, a bid on stock x for like 200 and someone actually took it i woke up to it one morning and it was accepted really happy that i was able to buy those and then this is the away of that same pair i bought these i believe i want to say i bought these from a guy on offer up he was selling a couple kobe fours a couple kobe's period and he just he was getting married and needed money really quick I believe I got those for like 120 or so. So that was a big steal on those, brand new as well. So uh, these next three shoes are pretty similar in a way. They're kind of like almost the same colorway. Um, being said, today is the All-Star game. I want to say this is probably my favorite Kobe All-Star shoe. I have not worn these at all. Um, I just, I'm very OCD and I do not want to mess these up. And I'm, you know, I, I want to keep these clean unless i find another pair for a good price but these are really really beautiful shoe uh the usc's uh kobe 4 uh these are the usc uh these are like i said these are very similar in a way uh besides the only thing i think different um is the swoosh gold uh or you know that usc orangey uh color um very similar in a way uh, i don't have the box for these usc's that's why i kept them on top uh, these are the Lauren Marion 4s. These were really hard to find for me to find as well. Brand new. Beautiful shoe. I know a lot of people keep asking me to sell them these. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to sell these. Um, beautiful shoe right there. Um, now these 4s. Uh, I wasn't a really a big fan of these, I guess I can say. But I got these on a... I think it was a pretty good deal. I think I paid $4.50 for these. Brand new. I have not used these. Um, they call these the Chaos Force. Some people call them the Joker Force. Um, really, really nice shoe. What I really like about that shoe, this shoe is the inside. As you can tell, it's really different from all the other Kobe's. That pattern, that, that padding inside, really nice shoe. Now these ones, these ones are the ones I was looking for. Really rare, in my opinion, to find a brand new pair uh, of these. These are the Christmas 4 Kobe's. Um, some people actually put uh, something right here, some lettering. Uh, these were actually an ID that you would make on, on Nike um, for his for a Christmas game of uh, that he ended up actually using those as well. So really beautiful shoe that took me quite a bit of years to find. I think I bought those from a guy in overseas. Um, these next two pairs I really wanted at some point. Um, um, these mean a lot to me. Um, I remember watching the game, the championship games against uh, the uh, Magic, Orlando Magic, and Kobe wearing both of these shoes. This is the away pair. Beautiful shoe. I just love that MVP on the tongue. Let me fix it. That MVP on the tongue. Man, so beautiful. And this was the home pair. Really lovely shoe. I just do not like how this one does yellow quite a bit. As you can tell, it's not as white. Um, if you guys know of any ideas, I can put these in so they would not yellow. So the tips are yellow, and I, it's hard to catch with the lighting and stuff, but the toe box is yellow. There you go. You see, you see that yellowing right there? Yeah, I just don't like that. If you guys have any ideas, maybe I've heard Ziploc, uh, Ziploc bags to put them in. Um, I don't know exactly why the yellow are over time, but if there's any ideas you guys have for preventing them from yellowing, please let me know. Another beautiful shoe. I was able to get these after the whole accident uh, tragedy happened. Um, some guy was really nice enough to sell me these. And the inlines, actually. The inlines and those for, I think, like $150 each. Um, 
very clean condition as well. So really happy I was able to find this for steel because I was almost ended up paying like I want to say almost close to 300 for that pair before. These were a Nike ID I bought off a guy on Instagram. Um, shout out to him. Um, I just think this was a really nice colorway. I am in love with a lot of Kobe 4 IDs that people have made in the years. Um, sadly, at that time when Kobe 4 was released, um, I have always been a Kobe fan. I just was not into collecting shoes that much at that time. So I did not, it was not able to um, make any IDs. If not, I would have really clean pair um i wish i had some yellow in it but i think this still goes hard as is uh, these ones are are really really nice um I, I actually got these um because it was between these and the uh independence day pair um is it the independence day pair i believe i believe that's what it's called or yeah there's another pair really similar to this i think it is the independence day um I don't know why this one reminds me of Spider-Man, and I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so I feel like I had to get these for that reason. Um, just the same color blocking and everything. Really good pair. The four rings. Now, I was not really a big fan of this at first because I figured it would be really hard for me to pull these off, the color. But, man, you cannot pass these shoes up when they have this in the tongue, man. That's the only Kobe 4 shoe that I have ever seen, or any Kobe, period. With that type of detail on there really beautiful shoe again this was another stock x steel so i'm going to set them my offer i believe for like 220 on those and um this was before you know there was taxes on on stock x and all that so i got those for about 220 two i want to say 240 shipped uh another one of my favorite pairs right here um that color blocking um the fading right there martin luther king MLK Kobe Force, really nice pair. This is just a regular uh, LA uh, purple and gold uh, hat I have here. And my prelude Kobe Fours. Man, look at those details. Sheesh. Really one really nice shoe right here. I love this shoe right here. I have so many shoes. Um to wear that i mean sadly i wish i had more time to actually wear all these i work a lot and stuff like that but um those are uh i think that's pretty much all my kobe fours guys um you know i, I gave you guys a, a quick little rundown on my kobe fours from ones to the only pair of threes and then all my fours now i'm gonna go to the fives so I think I mentioned this, but or I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this was a jersey that was given um, to, uh, I don't know if it was everyone, but it was to a lot of people in attendance at Kobe's jersey retirement uh, game or night. And uh, I have not opened it. I believe it's just a yellow home Lakers jersey with an 8 on the one side and a 24 on the other side. I have not opened it. I don't plan on opening it, but, you know, who knows? I might at one some point. Now, I want to mention this because this is something that has been going on as a promotion or a um, thing that um, the store Lids, the hat store named Lids, has been doing this for the last couple of weeks. They have been doing a promotion of adding a wings um, patch to your hat. You can either there get, um, well, there's a couple of different designs, but you can get the wings like this with the number 8 in the middle or the number 24. Um, I had a couple hats done. Uh, done. Um, this is my Kobe hat, and I felt I had to get the eight because the twenty-four is already on this side. This is just a regular Kobe dad hat. I bought this hat, I think, on offer for like maybe forty bucks. And uh, yeah, pretty nice little addition. It, it is a free of free. You just go in, take a hat that you already have, or you can purchase one of their hats, and they will put this patch on there. Um, I think it was a really dope for them to do that. Um, my other hats will have the 24, um, but for this one, I did put the 8. So go ahead. If there's a Lids near you, and uh, usually every mall has a Lids store, they sell hats. Um, you know, you guys can take your own hat. And like I said, they'll do this for free. It usually takes a couple hours. It might take a day or two, but they'll do it. They'll give you a call when it's done, and it will come out like that. Really nice thing. So let's go move on to my Kobe 5s. I'll speed up the video just a bit just to 
because I have so many other shoes to go through. The KO, uh, Think Pink, whatever you want to call them, Kobe Fives. I actually got these through a trade from a buddy on a Facebook group. Really beautiful shoe. Uh, I am looking for the Think Pink or the KO Kobe 6 just to kind of match with those. Uh, Bruce Leaf Kobe 5s. I'm sure this is a lot of people's favorite. This is another shoe that was a steal on StockX. I had a bit on there forever on those. And, uh, you know, one morning I woke up and it was accepted. Now, this is one of my favorite Kobe 5s. I am a, I am a fan of loud colors. And you cannot get any louder than this. This is beautiful. The Prelude Kobe 5s. Now, this pack is another pack just like this one. That means a lot to me. Um... I remember watching when he beat the Boston Celtics in both of these shoes. This is the away um, Kobe 5 big stage. Uh, supposedly, I guess this is the vault special edition. There's nothing really different from just the regular pair uh, of, the, of this version. So, you know, but really nice shoe. And then this is the home colorway, all white with the gold. Luckily for my pair, it has not yellowed. I've seen some of these pairs yellow really, really bad. Luckily, this one has not. I think it's because I've kept it. I think this one is actually in a Ziploc. This is a shoe that just released not too long ago. It's the uh, Kobe 5 Chaos uh, 2K20 version. Uh, NBA, NBA 2K exclusive player version, whatever you want to call it. Really nice pair. I do want the regular Chaos version. Uh, I slept on it. Um, I don't know why, but I did sleep on that pair. I wish I would have copped it when it released, but I do want it. Um, I would do want to get that in a ten and a half. But this pair, you cannot go wrong with it, man. Really nice pair. These are the Rice um, Kobe Fives, and then these are the Five Rings Kobe Fives. Beautiful pair. Cool. I should go down to my sixes. Let me know what you guys think about that so far. Okay, so now I do not have enough room on the bed. So, the rest of my Kobe 5s, as you guys can tell, is the USC 5s. One of my favorites right there, the uh, Dark Knights. Um, the Blackout 5s. And then, I totally forgot the name of those. But that's another one of my favorite colorways for some reason. But... Yeah, those are my Kobe 5s, guys. Um, as you guys can tell, a lot of my collection is Kobe 4s. And then I believe my next biggest one is the Kobe 5s. Now let's move on to the 6s. So I have the Grinches. I'll actually bring these up. Grinches, man. I bought these for 500 brand new. I want to say like two years ago. I couldn't believe it. But if you guys know how much these are going for now, man. I do. There are two shoes in my collection that I want to double up on. And this is one of them. I really love this shoe right here. The other shoe I will mention in a little bit. So, for some reason, this was one of my favorite sixes as well. Um, I love that. I think these are, the, yeah, these are the purple gradients. I love how um, it goes from black and then blue to the top brand new uh i bought this before the accident actually on ebay and that was i bought those for a steal these are another one of my favorites the helicopters beautiful shoe beautiful color just you know i don't know where they how nike came up with these colors or you know where they got these color um patterns and stuff but really beautiful shoe now another one of a lot of people's favorites the Barcelona Kobe 6s. Now, unfortunately, I spent so many years searching for the mango pair. Um, Kobe 6 mango pair. And man, at this point, I don't know if I'm ever, ever going to get that pair. I really wanted it um, to go with this one. Uh, but the, the prices that were, you know, on those, man. I'm just glad I was able to get at least one of them. Um... Another Kobe 6s, the East LA pair. This is just pretty much all blue. All blue. Same thing. The China Kobe 6. There we go. 
and then I think that's that's pretty much it for my Kobe 6s guys um, I did have the prelude Kobe 6s but I ended up selling them I have no idea why and that was about a bit um, like I said I do want to double up on the Grinches there's a couple other 6s that I do want I do want to get the Orange County the OC Kobe 6s as well so if any of you guys have those let me know in a 10 and a half let's move on to the 8s Graffiti Kobe A's. For some reason, this colorway is insane to me, and I really like it. Um, I spent a lot. I almost overspent on finding these. Luckily, there was a guy that posted these that I knew. He posted these for like a hundred bucks. Really great condition. Pretty much close to brand new. He sold them to me for a hundred bucks. Shipped. I was really happy about those. Now this is the other pair that I want to double up on. You cannot go wrong in having um, two pairs of these, man. Um, really, really beautiful shoe. I know this is probably um, some people's favorite shoe, period. The What the Kobe 8? Kobe 8 is a lot of people's favorite model as well. I actually did have two pairs of these at some point. And the other pair I wore a lot and I ended up selling it after a while. Um, another Kobe 8. Mamba Curls. Um, when I saw this shoe release, man, I fell in love. Um, I am Mexican, and I know Kobe was a big soccer fan. Um, I remember I used to play soccer uh, at times as well when I was a kid. Um, so this colorway and the whole like soccer vibe that it has really caught my attention. So I was really happy to get those. Now, this is kind of a like, pretty rare shoe. Um, I... Wasn't a really big fan of it, to be honest, when I first saw it. Um, I got this, I want to say, two, three years ago as well. Uh, for a, I think it was a steal. I think I bought it for maybe $700. Um, being that it was so rare, um, a lot of people call these the Kobe uh, 8 Sparks. Kobe 8, um, I believe, uh, what is it, Fireworks. Uh, there's another name to them. I forgot the name but uh the people call it but yeah man look at it man now i believe this shoe's going for a lot and they are brand new this has the uh, extra laces in there i have not worn it and i'm it's gonna be really hard for me to undies this pair but i'm sure i pro i will laugh at some point so now let's go to the last couple of shoes that i have the Kobe 11 that he wore on his last game. The 60 point game. Man, this is a shoe that I will probably not wear. Just because of the significance of it. I want to find a case for this shoe um, to put it in. Um, because this is a really, really uh, special shoe for me. Um, of Kobe. Um, there are a couple Kobe of these fakes out there guys so be really careful when trying to purchase these um but this is a beautiful shoe um i'm so glad i got these man yeah man all black with that gold swoosh beautiful beautiful and then i did skip over the actual only kobe 10 that i have and the only reason i bought this is because of this colorway um i believe these are the race cars i want to say uh, i think these are the race cars correct me if i'm wrong though but yeah this is i mean the green with the orange on the inside really beautiful kobe 10 like i said i was never really a fan of the nines nor the tens uh none of that high top versions or anything like that as you guys can tell a lot of these are my low top shoes um as i mentioned at the beginning of the video of uh, the video is because i'm a I have a skinny figure to me, um, you know, and I do not like bulky shoes. I'm really, really more of a low top type of shoes um, as is. So, yeah, guys, um, this actually is pretty much all of my Kobe collection at this point. I will be collecting more as time goes by. If I catch any other shoes on eBay or on OfferUp or through friends, um, I will update my collection and make another video of any new pickups that I get. But for now, this is my Kobe collection. Let me move this stuff out of the way. And yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, I know a lot of people uh, 
might not see this as a big crazy collection but to me i think i have stuff that i'm happy to have and, and that took me years to find um all, most of these are in great condition uh, if they're not brand new they're like nine out of ten um the only shoe that i do have that is actually only peeling or i should say coming apart is that one because i use those a lot being that they're all black i use those a lot because they don't you can't tell they're dirty the blackout fives those are the only ones that are actually um need might need might need regluing soon but yeah man um let me know what you guys think of my little small collection like i said it's about 48 to 50 pairs i'll have to recount but yeah i'm still looking to catch and buy some more um again once again rest in peace kobe bryant uh in my eyes he was my idol my my uh hero um so you know a lot of this started because of him and you know there's someone that i looked up to growing up uh he made me just jump up in joy for you know when he made a game winning shot just motivated me to go out there and just just be a winner man um you just, i know everyone has it inside them you just gotta pull it out man everyone has that motivation we get lazy we get tired um you know we don't like to push ourselves sometimes and it, it, it is what it is you know we get stressed we get um um you know so many issues in our life sometimes that we just don't want to um go out there and, and and get it done but it's out i mean you know the money's out there you guys know we just got to go out and get it um you know whatever you want to do it's it's possible man and and he's the guy that that is a good example for all of us i got it done um so um with this i'll conclude this video guys um i know um i'm kind of a new beginner to the youtube world but this is my collection for now and i will be posting more as time goes uh i appreciate you guys uh, supporting me up to this point and um once again rest in peace kobe bryant um you know love love your your, your close ones hug them Take care of them because life is too short and you know we just never know what's gonna happen man appreciate what you do have though thank you guys for watching and um this will conclude the video like i said um if there's anything let me see if there's anything missing um i don't know if you guys have been following um but you know there's a couple magazines out there that they have been uh selling um you know due to kobe's passing so i suggest you guys some of these are really good um i suggest you guys if you guys haven't purchased them go out and purchase them at your local grocery store do not pay resale for these they're everywhere um there are fake ones on amazon so be really careful on purchasing these from amazon guys unfortunately um you know people are trying to take advantage of of his death and it really sucks because you know trying to sell fake copies of magazines is probably not the um best thing to do in this type of situation so with that i'll let you guys go and god bless you all and have a nice day thank you guys